Revelation 3614. From the 26th of November 1945. Devils of the End Times. Paradise. And in the midst of devils you will be close to God, when the end has come. I myself dwell in the midst of you, in the midst of my own, spiritually and physically, where my presence is longed for in deepest faith and the adversity is overwhelming. I will not leave you alone, I will not abandon you to the dark forces, even though the adversity threatens to crush you. I take part in everything, always warding off the worst and endowing you with strength until the last day has come. And you will also feel me, you will recognize me in every help that is given to you. And your faith will increase and let you carry everything more easily, and in my grace you will stand until the end. And this be your comfort and confidence that evil will not overcome you, that I will cover you with my shield and not let you harm your soul. But what is imposed on the body to carry is weakened by my influx of strength, and you will also be able to carry it because you are my children who can be without fear because the Father loves them. If I dwell among you spiritually you will also feel my nearness, your physical weakness will leave you and you will be able to banish fear and worry through heartfelt remembrance of me whom you feel around you and to whom you therefore entrust all your worries. And I will be your protection and shield in hours of anxious earthly distress. The world will rage against you and not leave out anyone who is faithful to me and confesses this before the world. But I demand this confession from my own because I myself want to speak through you and therefore you must give yourselves to me without limits which also includes a public statement for me and my word. I demand your support for me and my teaching, I demand your faith in my word, which you must confess before the world so that the world will recognize the strength that lies in faith in me. I demand this because my church shall remain victorious and this requires the undaunted confession of my name for evil will shrink back from this name if it is pronounced in all reverence and holiness. The devils will have to recognize in impotent rage what strength and power lies in this name, and even if they will not stop threatening and fighting the faithful, they will run against the bulwark of faith and finally feel the hand of him who is lord over heaven and earth. My hand which executes their earthly destruction and banishes their souls anew, because otherwise an upward development, an improvement for the good, cannot take place. But I have to give the devils free reign beforehand. I must allow them to take action against me myself so that Satan will have tested his power to the utmost in order to nevertheless have to acknowledge my victory. As long as he is not active in all his power he does not acknowledge my stronger power, but this is absolutely necessary in order to submit to my will. Admittedly, this still takes eternities, and therefore every redemption period will end with the binding of the one who wants to outdo me as an adversary. And he must first be able to work in all his power in order to feel his powerlessness when the end has come but I will always work among my own and they need not fear to succumb to the opposing power. Whoever stands up for me will fight in my camp, with me myself, and will truly remain undefeated in every battle. Whom my shield covers, no thrust of my adversary can wound, and even if he is surrounded by devils of the worst kind, he stands in the light and blinded by it the devils miss their goal he is covered by the beings which are subject to me, which are active in my will and protect all those who want to belong to me when the enemy of their souls approaches. And therefore it will indeed appear to the world as if the believers are defenseless and abandoned and abandoned to evil forces, yet they themselves know that they are not alone, they always call me close to them through thoughts and prayer, and I will stay with them until the end. As I have promised. Mine will be allowed to hear and see me, I will lead them by the hand, and willingly, they will follow me and entrust themselves to my protection, and I will truly lead them right.
and when they see me coming in the clouds to fetch them home into the kingdom of peace, they will be blissfully happy, for then all adversity will have come to an end. Then they will be transported into a paradise where a time of deepest peace, harmony and bliss will replace the unbearable time of struggle before and where they will no longer be harassed by any devil, by any evil power. Where I can dwell amongst them, because only those people who are full of love will animate the paradise of the new earth. For where love is, I can also be, I who am eternal love myself. Amen.